today we're going to be taking a look at the DC Multiverse Collect and Connect Clayface Two Face. Yeah, I'm pretty. I'm actually you know pretty excited for this whole new line. Um, new articulation, new packaging, just a fresh start. And uh, I did review the um, Doomsday New Fifty Two Doomsday. I think it was Collect and Connect figure and. I mean, the, the build, no, I'm just going to call it the build figure, but the build figure was good. Uh, all the figures within the line sucked, except for, actually, no, they all sucked. Um, this one doesn't look like it's too bad. Looks like they're stepping up their game, so luckily, um, with it, maybe I'm thinking about getting back in this line, uh, which I'm very happy about because I like DC a little bit more than uh, Marvel. Anyways, you can see uh, the um, two, two Face Rebirth. Rebirth Two Face there, uh, and then there is the back. Here is the read up. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it now. And here's all the figures you need in this wave to build Clayface. Um, honestly, I'm actually interested in getting each and one of these figures, except for Martian Manhunter, because uh, I don't watch that show. Uh, Supergirl. I hate the Supergirl figure. Um, but anyways, you can see the uh, Rebirth Two-Face on there, nothing on the top, nothing on the bottom, I guarantee you this box is a little dinged up too. Anyways, let's just get this guy opened up and see how cool he really is. Alright, we got Harvey Dent, Two-Face, whatever you want to call him, out of the packaging, and, <clears throat> you know, honestly, for such a, a low expectation of this figure, it's actually pretty good. Uh, I don't expect much from this DC Multiverse line, and this guy goes above and beyond. He does come with a few accessories, two pairs of hands, and two pistols. Unfortunately, you can't put those pistols anywhere, but let's take a look at the two kinds of hands he has. Focus on my hand. There we go. So he has the, you know, um, gun-holding hand, which... The gun is sculpted and a little weird. I wish it was more realistic, but the review spot said this is like an arthritis-filled hand. And, I mean, I don't know, I guess I can kind of see it, but this would be a good hand to put, like, booze through, because, you know, yeah. Anyways, uh, and then you get this hand, which you get, you can see the uh, fingers bent a little bit. But uh, it's the, you know, the good side, I guess you could say. On that side. And the hands look alright. You know, just that finger's a little messed up. And then you have the pistols. Duh. Uh, too, too big. Too small here. I don't know. It's just it's alright. Um, would have preferred a more realistic looking gun. But, you know, whatever. It's fine. Uh, no paint on it. But he holds it fairly well. It wouldn't look good with any other figure, I think, uh, besides this one. Uh, but taking a look at the other hand, you can see the, you know, it's crossed out, so that's like the tails. Uh, but, let's take a look at Harvey Dent. Looks good, I mean, he looks kind of like a dipshit. <laughs> uh, he looks like one of those guys that would screw you over as soon as he gets the chance, even though it's not even the two-faced guy. He seems two-faced. You know, you just look at this one side. Uh, the long hair, I mean, it's not Mattel's fault. It's really the design. I mean, I would have made him have, you know, maybe short hair and, you know, not, you know, not like this. But, man, look at that side. That side's awesome. I wish they continued the red throughout the head, but it still looks really good. I love the sculpting. I love how the eyes look bloodshot red. You can see the mouth and everything, and then... Pretty much from the head, from, well, from the neck down, he is pretty basic. Um, you know, he's not the type of character that you have him dual wielding a pistol, two pistols. So, uh, I mean, you could, you could if you wanted to, but personally not for me. Uh, so, I probably have him pose, you know, looking at this, uh, his hand with the gun. Ready to go, just like on the side. Cause I think this looks like, like it looks like a very strong pose. Um, 
He does have the very basic body mold when it comes to guys in suits. Uh, I remember the Jim Gordon figure from the Dark Knight Rides has had this kind of body mold except the longer jacket. Uh, who else? I'm blanking on another one. There's one more. Um, maybe it was um, the detective Joseph Gordon Levitt figure that was like this as well. The jacket looks good. I like how pliable it is, so you can get him holding it, and maybe he can be reaching for his gun while it's in there. But you can't get the hand hinge, so I guess maybe not. But, uh, yeah. Pretty basic body. Uh, nothing else really going on. Very. I wish, you know, it was two faced, you know, two sides. One, you know, scarred, and the other not, you know, normal. Uh, but, it's fine. I wish the hand was scarred too. That would have been a cool feature. Because, I mean, I get that, uh, I forget his name. Vito Cor Cor Corleone? No, that's the Godfather. The Falcone. Uh, whatever Falcone. Don Falcone. I believe it was him. He threw acid on Two-Face's face, Harvey Dent's face, and that's how he became Two-Face. So I get how the hand's not affected, but still, it would have been cool if the hand was affected. But, yeah. The purple looks alright. I mean, the pink looks alright, and the pink on there looks good. Articulation, the head will look side to side. You can't get no... A little bit of a head pivot. Uh, he can't look up at all, which kind of sucks. You can't get his arm going out all the way like so. He can't do 360. Bicep swivel, single bend of the elbow. Does not meet the 90 degree. Um, you can't swivel it, but uh, there is a hinge at the hand and slight. It's on a ball joint, so it's not really going around that much. But it really uh, suffers from without the hinge. He does have an ab crunch. But doesn't go that far forward. He goes a little bit more backwards. Uh, he does have a waist swivel. Hip joints move out like so. And unfortunately they still do have the old uh, DC Universe classic articulation on this new figure. Um, but honestly I'm okay with it. Because you're not going to put this guy in crazy crazy poses. So the most crazy you might get is him running. Like him running away. From Batman in a pic for a picture, well, that's about it. And you, you see, it's like it's not really affecting that too much. Um, but yeah, uh, there's a lower thigh swivel, single bend of the uh, knee. The feet will hinge slightly, and well, actually, won't really hinge at all. Um, just the way it's sculpted, and you can't really pivot. So, not a bad piece. Um, to me, the best Two-Face figure is the Arkham City Two-Face. That is just it's so not... Let me see if I can put face in here. I highly doubt that it is. But... Uh, yeah, I can't get it opened any more than it already is. Uh, yeah, no, I can't find him. It's going to take a minute. I don't want to drag the video out. But yeah, again, really cool piece, and if you're not expecting much from this line, then this is a really good figure. And I'm guessing it's for the whole wave. I don't have any of the other figures, but I will be trying to uh, hunt them down. Anyways, we have one comparison to do, and I have the exclusive, I think it was five pack. Let me see, there's Superman, Batman, Catwoman, Two-Face, and Lex Luthor. So yeah, the five pack, uh, DC... Universe Classics, uh, Two-Face. Uh, this is not from the Batman, uh, line. I really wanted that one, but, I, I mean, I just never really got around to it in mind. I'm happy with this one. This one is very cool. I like how he's got the different colors and everything. Uh, he holds the gun pretty well, um, so that's cool. But I love the hair on this guy. I think it's awesome, but you can't get the pose where he's like... You think he's normal, then he looks at you and it's all messed up because of the hair, but it's fine. I mean, it's alright. 
Uh, this guy doesn't have the best articulation, but it's fine because he's never in that crazy pose, so that's why I'm okay with it. Uh, I'm trying to think. I don't know. I really don't. Uh, but yeah, cool, cool character. I do plan on reading The Long Halloween, which I do believe he is in. Um, but the, another reason why I want the Batman line of uh, the Two Face is because it comes with a Tommy gun, and this guy doesn't come with any guns, so he comes with trigger fingers for nothing. Uh, I don't have any more pistols, I don't think, to put on figures. Um, yeah, I don't know. I would, I would have to look through it. Let me see if these would look good on this. I highly doubt it because these. That's not even in here. Um, let's see if I can find a pistol. Uh, here we go. Uh, this is a very big pistol, but we'll just try it anyways. This came with the black head action figure from the uh, Arkham Origins video game from DC Collectibles. And uh, yeah, like I said, it looks a little big. Uh, but I guess it looks pretty good. Honestly, I would rather have him holding a revolver than anything else. Just because a revolver seems more like him. Uh, like this character. So he holds this pretty well. Um, let's see. Um, uh, let's see. I have a gun from the Harley Quinn figure from the Suicide Squad line from DC Collectibles. And let's see... Put that in there. This looks good. This looks a little better. Um, it actually looks really good. So I might have him hold that for uh, the rest of my time owning him. <laughs> uh, but yeah, putting I'm putting these two away just because I'm definitely not... I'm always going to have this guy pose with him looking at the coin. But anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below and make sure... Oh, you can also get a good pose like this where he's holding his hand for more support, I guess. Man, my nose just got real runny for some reason. I mean, yeah, I mean, that's alright, but I still have him holding one, one hand. Let me get this hinging down a little bit. So it's like, there's your choice, now you're gonna die, you know? Really like this figure. Uh, definitely recommend it. He, I think he's hard to find because when I got him, he was the last figure of the bunch. Um, so, you know, let me know if he is hard to find. If and if he is, I'm sorry, but sweet for me, I guess. He does come with the torso piece of Clayface, which to me is the most important part of Clayface because that's where you put all the pieces in. So, you know. Uh, some people say, oh, the head's the most important part. They're all important, but the most important is the torso, because that's, like, the central. Anyways, I'm going to go and blow my nose some. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing for a lot more content. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Thanks for watching.